2013, for uh, the iTunes Festival, um, we, we built a, a, a bubble dress we call it an enemy. The, the bubble dress was designed for Lady Gaga. It's a body architecture that supports a number of bubble factories. So we designed these bubble factories which we 3D printed, which worked by a um, draw mechanism. We were able to open up and, and create a, a kind of film of, of bubble mixture and the fan blew this bubble mixture out. We had big bubbles and small bubbles. The small bubble machines made, made a kind of foam. Some of the bubbles flew away, some of the bubbles kind of formed a kind of structure. The bubble dress was really a commentary on the future of textile. We believe fashion is quite antiquated. While everything around us becomes intelligent, it becomes more computational, so you know, we walk around with smartphones in our pockets. So we've already started to foster a relationship with, with, with technology on our body. Um, our, our clothes are still, are still very old-fashioned. So if you look at the way that 3D printing technology is developing that, then in the future maybe we could have a machine that we stand in, you know, and it prints a 3D dress around us, or we have materials that are able to, to transform. We're very interested in, in the role of micro-robotics in that. So if we can create surfaces that are robotic and can change shape, um, fit being one of the most important uh, aspects of, of or affordances of, of clothing and fashion that we could change the, the, the fit of our clothes with the press of a button or our clothes could actually form new architectures around us. So we believe in the next decade we're going to see some pretty amazing things happen around transformable textiles, movement in, in our clothes and so mechanical movement. We're working towards introducing that in the next five years.